Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to my channel. This is going to be a 8-8-2021 reading for you. Thank you for all the support on the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you like the way I read, go ahead and subscribe. That would be really awesome. So let's get started. There's no way this can connect to every single person out there. So the first one that comes in for you is Reunion. Wow Aquarius, so you could be possibly having uh, family reunions before the end of summer, or you could be having friend reunions, some kind of reunion in your life. It does say reunions, so maybe you're actually having more than one. So then you have paradise, beautiful. So paradise talks about a bridge, so I don't know if you're a bridge in between. Usually in the card deck it talks about a bridge between um, heaven and earth, like you have a connection to um, having dreams about somebody who's passed over into heaven, possibly, is what that could indicate. A connection with a loved one, and then renewal. So renewal talks about something ending, so it can uh, restart itself. Like, start itself with the way it wants to. Somebody could restart a job, restart their life, change their lifestyle, you know, something... Um, a reunion is going to be a bridge and help somebody renew. So I'm almost feeling like there's going to be a reunion and maybe somebody's going to help somebody stop an addiction they're into. Something of that sort is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling kind of like AA, NA sort of thing. Alright, so the next one for you is Owl Wisdom. So this is beautiful. This talks about being supported by the Divine, being protected. You see the wings around the lady. She's got her arm up with another owl on her hand, and she's wearing the white dress. And then the big feathers are like the divine, protecting the owl, protecting you. So there's something that you learned, um, some sort of wisdom. So I do feel like there could be a past life connection at this reunion with somebody you come across. And because of this as well, I do feel like, so be aware if you go to a reunion, um, if you have a reaction to somebody. I always say if you meet somebody and you have a weird twitch or you get a pain, that's an indication that you could have had a situation before in your life or past life with this person you don't remember that was not um, beneficial to you. So pay attention to how your body reacts to meeting people. So then you have the Wolverine, which is fierceness. So change, five. So we have the fire here and we have the fire here. So you have some sort of wisdom and bridging not being too aggressive. So you're going to be fierce, but it talks about being fierce and being ethical. Being fierce and being calm. So you, they're asking you to have the wisdom to handle a situation without starting a fire. Just be fierce with kindness is what it says, or calmness. So one more for you. And you have bull sacrifice. So a lot of negative energy around you. I see the lightning, the dark eyes always makes me think of negativity. I do feel like somebody is trying to cause problems for you. This could also mean black magic uh, is what I'm getting, which I know a lot of people don't believe in that, and it's really hard to believe in it. Um, but yeah, I am seeing that. A lot of, uh, your energy is really wise, so a lot of you I do feel understand this and know what's going on. And a lot of people do seem to do, um, that certain activity around certain, um, phases in the solar system, or if that makes sense. So I'm switching to the Soul's Journey Lesson card, Aquarius. And you have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So I do feel like your wisdom is going to be able to get you to balance. It kind of equals the bridge here. So there's something about you balancing or bridging something, a situation that you're going to be able to handle fiercely but ethically, if that makes sense. So the next one is fear. Wow. So this is, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So when you let go of the fear, or I feel like a lot of you are balancing out some sort of fear, um, you're going to let your fierceness override and you're still going to love. So a lot of you could be balancing out a fear around love. And maybe the sacrifice could say a lot of you 
are having a hard time settling down. A lot of you could not want to commit to one person. So guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my growth. So this talks about something possibly going in a spiral effect. You have to be careful of that, not sacrificing too much of yourself or something. You see the balance with the lotus flower in the middle here, the fear, and then the guilt. A lot of different energies there. Wow, I mean, so I feel like you must be going to balance fear and guilt in some way. Or help somebody else balance, somebody you care about. So let's go with, the next one is King Arthur. So King Arthur is supporting a cause. Supporting a cause that most people don't support. Supporting something because you believe in it, like something for the underdogs. or something that's balancing out um, within your wisdom about a cause for underdogs is what I'm picking up. So then Temple of the Sun, beautiful. This is becoming happy. So you are going to find love. You're going to override fear. I do feel like there is some sort of um, hold back around love for you. This is what you're balancing out. Maybe you had guilt and fear around a past relationship is what I'm feeling. And you're just going to break through from that. Something's clicking in this full moon. Or, and you're just going to be like ready for your happiness and your love and nutrition. So this talks about taking care of yourself, like um, making sure you do what makes you feel happy. If it makes you feel happy to take a shower every day and style your hair, then do that. If it makes you feel happy to drink a vanilla milkshake every day, that's not very nutritious, but I feel like mental, physical, spiritual health all goes hand in hand. So you're going to be happy, but it's just asking you to... Take care of yourself so you can give for this cause, whatever this is to you, that's going to make you really happy to, to be successful in, in some way. So the next one for you is going to be feeling number two. So a lot of feelings involved in this. A lot of emotion. You learned a lot of wisdom around some sort of feelings. And the next one is traveling, number ten. So you could be traveling... Um, you're definitely getting a lot of information when you're sleeping, I feel. A lot of um, information. Astral travel. So then sleeping, five, which would be change. It's 14, and if you add the numbers, it would be five. So I do see a lot of, a couple new beginnings coming for you. I see very high protection from the angels and ancestors around you. You're vibrating a really low frequency. So I do feel like some of you held back from love because of a past hurt, but you're getting ready to um, go back into love. You've learned some kind of lessons. Um, you've let go of the fear, the guilt, and you've learned not to sacrifice everything you have for love. So beautiful, beautiful reading. Bless you, Aquarius.